Hi everyone, it's Gail. And today I am going to show you how to make this cover. Um, I've had several requests about this particular journal and how did I make the cover. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to move this out of harm's way. And let's say our hi and hugs. Oh goodness. Oh, you guys. Oh, it's going to be one of those days. So I pre gessoed some papers. Yeah, I just stepped on them. <laughs> They're on the floor. Okay, let's get rid of the shoes so I don't get it all over. Oh, my gosh. Okay, hi and hugs to Cheryl, Cindy, Sharon, and Tammy. Aren't you glad you're here? <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so here are some examples of uh, of some of these that I've done before. Now, I like to use like ug ugly slash, I don't know, paper that I won't use for anything else. And um, the other thing you can use, let me show you here, get stuff off it, is old wallpaper. So we may do that too. So we're going to just jump in here in a second, but I wanted to show you these. They're just different colors, different stencils used, and um, different. You, you just get different effects and different, you know, background papers. Love this one. Love this one. I, I'm ready to make that into a journal cover. All of them. I love them all. <laughs> so here is what they look like. Yeah, this is this one's a heavier piece and it's it's really it's really good and heavy. So anyway, let's make some. So, like I said, I like to use kind of the um the sad sack <laughs> sort of of paper. So I've got my white gesso here, and we're just gonna like super quick, no no cares, no worries. Slop some gesso on here and cover up this pattern a little bit. But, you know, I don't mind if the pattern does come through a bit because it just adds another layer then to your, to your finished piece. And um, I should tell you uh, what I... What I did on that other journal cover that I just showed you, that journal, is after doing this process, I back it with another piece of paper. And then, um, and then after uh, that, I sew them. Sorry, I'm just putting my papers. I'm gonna do this one. This is an old Anna Griffin and I like that it's just kind of a, um, what would you say, like a geometric pattern kind of paper because then it just adds texture without going, oh, there's birds under there or <laughs> there's a person under there. So I do kind of like that. And you can see I am not being careful. I am just slapping it on here. So we'll do this one and okay i'll set that up here and then let's do the <laughs> it's rolling so it doesn't want to sit let's see oh i can put it right here okay um let's quick like do the wallpaper too so it's a big old sheet so really you could get you can get several um covers out of this, this is out of one of the old discontinued wallpaper books, you know. Um, some people have told me that they've they found them or they've gone to their local paint store and asked, do you have any old out-of-commission sorts of wallpaper? And they've gotten a few that way. Okay. Um, so we'll just get this one kind of on its way and then and then we'll do the next step do the next step and the next step now I don't worry about drying them in between you could 
but I don't worry about that. I just, I just put her on. Woo! Slidey. It's slidey. Okay, let me get a little more gesso. I got a whole ton of gesso the last time I poured it out. So this is an old can of gesso that um, it's thick and it's kind of not very, not easy to work with, but we're going to do our best here. Let's just scoop a little off of there. Okay. Because we just have a little bit more hair to cover. But this way, all the other mediums have something to stick to, too. There's a little paint goober we don't need. Okay, I have a little bit more. I'm just going to add another little bit over some of the leaves, and then we'll call it good. Okay, cool. So I, I did a few ahead of time, so we have lots to play with here. Um, where am I going to put you? Will you dry? That's a good question. Let's let's. I'm just rearranging. Excuse me for a moment. Oh my gosh, I forgot to look at the time, didn't I? Okay, we'll just say we'll say around 1:30. We got to get done playing. Okay, so I'm gonna throw my brush in some water, close up my gesso, and. Uh, the next step is going to be some texture paste. So you need gesso, you need that ugly scrapbook paper, or sorry, Anna Griffin, not ugly, just I'm not going to use it for anything else. Um, and texture paste, the little spatula, and you need your, um, you need your stencils. So I decided I really wanted to use my Kathy Holden stencils because um, I have used a lot of my other big stencils on those other ones that I showed you. So they're already done. So let's, I thought, let's do something different. Okay, so I want, I want pattern as much as possible is what I would like. So I'm gonna start there and then we'll figure out doing the edges, the other edges. So hopefully, yeah, my my modeling paste is really goopy too. I have to I have to get some new modeling paste. This is this is kind of ridiculous. I hope it's gonna work. We'll see. So we're just gonna Go through our stencil as you do. And ugh, this is really thick. So, but I mean, for this, it'll work fine, I think. Because you kind of want it thicker because after we get this done, we are going to spray it with some sprays. And if you have a little thicker, um, through your stencil, if it's a little bit thicker, then it actually kind of runs and has the, the spray has kind of some texture to work with, I guess is what I would say. Okay. Blah, this is so <laughs> thick. <laughs> oh, but there's so much of it left. I just can't let it go to waste. So we're just gonna put it on here and see what happens. Um, yeah, this this is a fun technique and it's a great way to use those scrapbook papers that you're like, eh, I'm not gonna use those in a journal. There's lots of ways to redo your uh, ugly scrapbook paper. Um, I taught a class on it here for adult ed one time it was really fun i'll have to get out my class notes and do that someday for a for another um mixed media monday this is taking longer than it should i apologize but it's the thickness Woof! it's thick 
Hope I can get it off the stencil. <laughs> but, you know, that's what happens when you don't use your mixed media supplies long enough. Or enough. They tend to dry out and get goopy and whatever. So, um, I think in the next one we might... I know I have some newer Stamperia that we could use. I think we might switch to that because... This is going to tire me out. It's so thick. But, you know, uh-oh, I have an excuse to go to Hobby Lobby and grab some, grab some um, texture paste, modeling paste. Same sort of thing, I think. Modeling paste, sorry. Use the right terminology, Gail. Okay. Okay, we're just about we're just about through one one bit here. I may be reordering this stencil because I don't know if it's going to survive this. Oh boy. Okay. Well, let's see if we can peel her off. Oh yeah, that's actually really great. That little black goober there that doesn't need to be there. Okay, I'm just going to sort of, kind of sort. Oh, it's already much heavier. Um, let us kind of see if we can just do a bit up here. This is going to be hard because I'm going to put that down. Hopefully it won't goober that up too much, but I almost need two hands to get this stuff <laughs> out of its jar. Ugh. Okay. Maybe it's warming up a bit or it got into a better spot or something. Okay, come here. Come here. Okay. Okay, that worked out semi okay. And let's do this side. See, I'm kind of thinking this part would be the cover, so. Boy, it's hard to do without grabbing the can that it's in, but I don't want to lay that down too much because I'm trying to keep it so that it doesn't smoosh what we've already put on. We're getting there, guys. <laughs> I, I promise I'll get some newer product out so that this we don't have to go through this again. Oh, but at least I'm using some of this up, right? But I could use it up off camera so that I'm not struggling so. Okay, and then up here in this corner, I'll just do some little leaves. There we go, perfect. Okay, there we go. So we've covered our whole paper, which is awesome. Now I'm gonna kind of lay that over there because, let's see here, I might should have gotten a few extra drop papers, but we'll just, we'll just do what we can here. Okay. I have to tend to this because it is going to be like from it, I'm afraid. So, um, I'm actually going to grab one of these other... Oh, jeez. You guys, I have this stuff everywhere. This is horrible. Okay. We're going to soldier through, though. I'm going to grab this and just see, see what we can get off of here.
boy, oh boy, guys. This was a mistake to use this. I apologize. But, you know, not everything goes as planned. And you know that's what you're going to get if you're if you're here. Because <laughs> your friend Gail, she just dives in and doesn't know what's going to happen. Yeah, much better to use some um, texture paste that isn't so goopy. You really do need to clean your stencil after any modeling paste, but this stuff is just like a bit like cement. So we're getting there though. You can fast forward through this cleaning part. You won't hurt my feel bads. Okay. Now go ahead and use a baby wipe just because I can be a little more gentle. I apologize for the moving of the camera. Again, I just need to do this or I'm going to ruin this stencil. Paint is fine. Not so much with the um, texture paste. I don't know what this is going to do to the paper underneath, but again, that's an experiment. So I apologize for the jiggle, guys. Gently. Well, if I totally have ruined this stencil, I will just have to get another one because this is one of my favorites from Kathy. But I don't know, maybe I'm... Doing something underneath. Not a whole heck of a lot. Okay. Well. Um, how are we feeling? Gosh. I apologize, guys. This is a mess. Well. Okay. We're going to call that good. I think. I think it's pretty good. I might have to throw it in a soapy bathtub. <laughs> yeah, I can see it's it's filling some of the little holes. Okay, well, onward and upward. Okay, so I'm going to set that one aside. We are going to actually, I don't know, I'll put this aside, but I'll probably toss it. Okay, let's do the next step. I'll apologize for the hold up there. Okay, so this is still wet. Doesn't bother me. We are going to spray it. Now this one, I mean, usually I kind of just do this is that. Look at this, guys. This is so crazy. Look at this jar or this uh, drawer of all the, all the sprays. Again, Mixed media madness, and I just haven't been, haven't been doing a ton of it. So there you go. Okay, I want a pink. I'm gonna look and see. Got a little kish from flamingo, and I'm gonna try and hit the roses with that. I mean, usually I just spray it willy nilly. On the other pieces of paper, you can kind of tell that, like, like this one. I just kind of sprayed here and there and whatever. But I kind of want to try and see what happens if I sort of hit the roses with the pink and then maybe do a little green on the flat, on the um, leaves. You know, don't know till you try. Let's see, that's a little bit there. Let's see. Okay. Don't really have a rose. Oh, there's a rose. There's a rose. That's a rose, kind of. Some of the roses are hard to, hard to identify. But that's kind of fun. Okay, let's see if we have a green. The other thing you should do, and 
I save these baby wipes to use in other things, but always clean your little spout after you've sprayed because otherwise it will. Ooh, let's look at this. This is a uh, Heidi Swap. That was, of course, Distress Spray Stain. So this is Heidi Swap, but I don't know. I just thought it's called Patina, and it looks like it's got some shine to it. I might hate this. I'm just saying. Could happen. Or I might love it. Who knows? <laughs> okay. Let's just... Should we run it a little bit? And that's kind of fun because then it sort of more or less outlines things. It's kind of fun to make it run a bit. Let's put a little bit more down here. That was, that was a lot. But I'm kind of covering up the underneath too. Okay, that's really fun. Let's just run it. Running it around. There's a little leaf right there. I would like to have a little these leaves. We missed totally. This <laughs> is kind of fun. It's just totally messy and just totally fun. I am going to um, grab that pink that we used and I need to hit that, that. I'm just going to hit it again now that we've got the green on there. And it's it's puddled in places, but it's, you know, that it'll dry. And it'll just be interesting. I kind of would like, what would I like? A little bit of something. Needs another color. Um, do I want? Do I want pure sunshine? I might. Um, I like it. I hope it shows well on camera. Now, I mean, you can do as much or as little with these as you want. You can, you know, you could also, when this is dry, go in with a, a marker or something or a paintbrush and, you know, define the bits and pieces a little bit more if you want to, whatever. But it just is so much fun. Such a fun thing. You guys, I need to take a second and I'm just going to grab out my, my plastic here so I can lay these down and not ruin my carpet. So, yeah, get them out of my way so I'm not stepping on them like I did the Chessa one. Okay, so there's number one. I'm going to call it a win. Let's get it over here. Okay. You guys, that's really cool in real life. I love it. Okay. So let's do, let's do something else. Let's do, let's do this one and let's use a, a better, um, oh yeah, this one's got some bricks on it already. I don't think I want that one. I might use up some more, more goobery stuff on it. I'll do this one. Let's do what? Oh, I kind of wanted to try this. 
I was thinking of doing a red and green one for Christmas. Thought that might be kind of fun. But let's use let's use better um, texture paste. What do I have here? Um, ooh, wonder how this would be. I have the snowflake paste. I don't know if this one's open. I have two jars. Yeah, this one's open. Let's try that. What the heck, huh? Just give it a whirl. And this is going to, yeah, this is ever so much better. So we can just go across with that. I don't know. I haven't tried this. I have used um, what's called pumice gel. I have used that. And that's worked really well. Um, I did a cover. You may have seen it. Um, I showed it was in my stuff that I was taking to do at the retreat, but I, I didn't get, I didn't get that journal made yet. But um, anyway, it had this pumice, the pumice gel that's kind of gray. It had it as the, as the base here. So I don't know, that one piece may become our clean off. And then it'll just be all random, and then we'll just squirt it with some colors and see what happens. <laughs> see how much easier this is when you have good product? Jeez, that was crazy. I probably should have just stopped, but, you know, waste not, want not. This is shiny, and so that's kind of fun. Yeah, this is cool stuff. So... This is, uh, is it Finnebar? Yeah, this is Finnebar Snowflake Paste. Can you take a picture of that? So, um, I think I probably got it in kits from Mixed Media Minnesota from Shannon. Thank you, Shannon. Okay. nice when it can be so much thinner on your stencil and then cleanup isn't as traumatic <laughs> I don't know I maybe should have just given up this week with all the goings on oh my gosh I'm happy to report though everyone that the you know what grabbed at my retreat is has had mild sin, mild symptoms, so I'm very grateful for that. Jeez. So yeah, and Mike is doing better. He just you know, as you always hear about lingering cough and fatigue, those things still happening, but. Other than that, he's pretty good. Okay, so we'll just peel this off. Oh, you guys, that is gorgeous. I just wonder what it's going to do with the, um, what will happen with the, um, spray. Sorry. I was listening to my husband. He's going out of the house. I think he must be getting the mail, maybe. Yeah, she's so it's much smoother process when you have good product. That's for sure. I can even get it out of the jug easier. It's like, oh my goodness, that stuff was crazy thick. It's drying over there though, and it's looking good. And you know, once it dries, if you're like, oh gosh, I think it needs something, give it a pop of another spray. And just keep working with it till you're happy. 
That's what I think. Okay. There's that. Now we just have this little corner right here. Ugh. Sticking. Okay. So I'm just going to do the little corner. Okay, cool. All right, so I'll put the lid on that. I'm gonna lay this up above for a second while I clean off this stencil. I hope you guys are able to see what I'm doing here. Okay, I'm just gonna Scrape off as much as I can. Now, some of that's going down on that paper, too. So. I would also put some on my drop paper had I grabbed an extra, but I didn't. So I'm trying to, trying to kind of keep that clean. See if we can clean this guy off. Yeah, it cleans up a lot easier too, doesn't it? That's fun. I try to use my baby wipes afterward, you know, the paint and and stuff on them. Just makes them and sometimes they're a real cool texture, like after using something like this. Ooh, look at that. That's fun. We're, we're making something we didn't even intend to make. <laughs> okay. Okay, I do want to do the um, wallpaper, too. Maybe we'll do that next, since we've done a couple of these. got I've got gritty hands now too from this but that's pretty good okay now let's see now what um sorry had a hair tickling my nose now we're gonna spray that's what we're gonna do and I want to use red and green on this. Now that tiny swap was a nice green. So let's get it back out. Let's see. Pink. Ooh, cherry red. Okay. I'm trying to look at where... I feel like that, I mean... Okay, I can kind of see where the berries were, sort of, kind of. So, I think I'll just... You gonna work? Mm, probably didn't. Oh, probably didn't get that wiped off good enough the last time. That's what'll happen to you. So it won't work properly. Okay. Oh, there we go. I'm just going to do it in spots, I think. Kind of like that. Okay, and then I'm going to try to do the rest green. Uh 
okay. Liking it so far. I feel like I'd like a little gold or a little silver or something like that. So let's see what I've got in my little box of goodies. Now it'll be interesting when this dries to see if that um, snowflake, snowflake paste that had the um, sparkle, if it still will. I don't know. Okay, what do I have that's kind of a gold of some sort? Okay. Uh, hang on, guys. Sorry, I'm just looking, looking and looking here. Um, But oh, what is this? Yes, maybe my tea. I don't know how much is left in this one, but maybe we'll just try and use it if there's. Maybe if I hold it up, it'll. like just about out like I wonder let's see here oh yeah it's definitely about out I'm thinking if I can just flick a little on there it might well that's kind of happy we used up a jar I honestly, I don't mind that. I think that's kind of cool. I like the background too from the original paper. It actually is pretty cool. I'm going to keep that. I think I can put some water in that and make it last a little longer. So that's that one. Who? I don't know. I hope it's showing up well on the camera. Okay, I'm going to dry it over here. Ah, all right. How we doing time-wise? Okay, well let us let's get started on this one. Say it's the exact same procedure, really. It's just that it's wallpaper instead. And you have a pretty pretty big area to work with. So, what shall we use? We shall use Let's use some of this Stamperia Mixed Media Art Cream Paste. Let's use some of it because if I don't use it, it's going to get all dried up, just like the other. Oh, I guess I better find a stencil, huh? Um, let's do this one. So I feel like we can lay it kind of every which way on this and it'll be good. Okay, so let's see if we can get this one done too. Okay. Again, much easier to work with. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, this is still really... And I, what I love about the cream paste is it makes things real kind of almost leathery because it's, it's more bendy than uh, modeling paste. And so it really gives a nice feel to your piece that you do with it. It really does. Oh, what am I? Oh, still got wet gesso over there, but that's okay. Don't care. Oh. How's that? <laughs> oh man, oh man. You'll be a lot more coordinated at this than I will. That's, that's, I'm almost certain of that. 
Oh, goodness. And truly, your stenciling doesn't have to be perfect. If it's got some irregularities, to me, all the better, I say. But, um... So, I think we might do this one. I don't know. Maybe we'll do some kind of fallish colors. That'd be fun. Just something a little different, too, than we're... And we're doing here. Okay, so let's get that off of the wallpaper. Ooh, that's cool. That's really cool. Okay, I'm just going to yeah, lay this down. It'll, it'll goober that up a bit, but not too bad, I hope. This white is not super easy to see. You know, it's hard to see that you've got the cream on it. I'm just going to trust that I do. See, when you've got a good product, it doesn't take long to do this. The first one was a struggle, though, wasn't it? Goodness. Okay, good, good. So far, so good. Okay, I'm going to just, I think I'm going to just lay that down right about there. Okay. didn't get quite to the edge there it's the wallpaper is a little torn so but that's okay because you know most of this will be a cover but then what I do with the cutoffs you know I make it like 9 by 12 and then what I do with the cutoffs is um, go ahead and make tags out of them so so none of it goes to waste we've we've had all this fun we don't want to be wasting anything. Gotta be a little careful so I don't scrape that. Okay, so hopefully, maybe. Yeah, that's really, that's turning out awesome. Okay, let's see. I guess... We've been going this way, so we'll continue that. I kind of want to get the, there's a lot of cream there, so I kind of want to get that. Get a little more. thinking of maybe yeah maybe some fall colors on this if I feel like I can find them okay okay we have covered that whole entire thing that is awesome I'm going to shove it over to the side here and we're going to grab our clean off piece of paper and I'm going to work on this one. Just scrape off the excess. Scrape it off and scrape it into the bottom one. Okay. That is pretty darn good. Okay, I'm going to see if I can... Get a little of that down into the stencil. Okay. So now, let's kind of go 
on the edges and do the washing of the stencil. Okay, and sorry for the jiggle. I know it's jiggling, but I'm having to put some muscle in it. I know that um, card makers and such will be appalled at the state of my <laughs> of my stencil, but you know it works out okay. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so now we are going to. Oh, I have a whole nother piece over there. I might have to, I'll tell you what, tomorrow, tomorrow's video, let's see, this is, so it'll be Tuesday. I'll show you the finished pieces once they're all dry and everything, okay? So how about that? Okay, now, I am going to put this away before it gets dry. Okay, and wipe this off and then we're going to spray that and then we'll we'll call it a video but I'll do that other one after I'm off camera and I'll show you those tomorrow too okay hopefully okay so there's this guy he's a big old he's a big old guy but what I was thinking is maybe some like this is the same color as I just used that tea, and I think um, I think it'll it, it'll be good. That and what about like some yellow? I like a kind of a darker green. What do I have here? Cut grass, yellow, green, brown. Um, I don't think I have, I don't really have anything rusty colored. We'll start with those and we'll see what else we might need, okay? So this one, oh, this isn't even open. Go figure. Let me grab my scissors real quick here and get this open. Um, do I have another one? That's, that's what I should check. Pure Sean, uh, yep, I've got one that's open. Okay, um, this is going to be just random. Oops, don't lay your hand in it, Gail. Okay, we can always add more. Um, ooh, that's cool. Might like that over the top though. Okay. And this. Is work. I didn't bring a pin over here. I usually use a bit of a, a pin to try to poke through. Okay, well, that one's not going to work for us, so let's go with something else. I don't have much green. Ooh, walnut stain distress oxide. I haven't tried distress oxide on this. Let's just see. Let's see what we get. Ooh, I like that. Ooh. <laughs> ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Okay, I'm liking that. Do I have anything green? Anything at all? Brown Express. Ooh, Rusty Hinge. Let's do that. Maybe we don't want green. Maybe that's why that happened. 
Ooh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, love it. Love it so much. Okay, I want to, I think, I want to put a little more yellow in a couple places. If it will. Okay, that's perfection. I'm not doing a darn thing with that now. Other than maybe get a spot or two that doesn't have enough. Okay, guys. Well, we ended on a high note. We struggled at the beginning, but we ended on a high note. With that, I am going to have you take your leave, but it's a fun technique. I'm just saying you guys should all try it. It's, it's very fun, and I think you'll really enjoy it. So I'll do those other couple pieces um, once I turn off the video, and I'll show you everything tomorrow. I, it doesn't look like, let me check. No, they're they're not quite dry yet over there. So we'll we'll just have to reveal tomorrow. So I will see you tomorrow. Have a grateful day and thanks for watching everyone. Bye-bye.